This month on one of our cards, uh, we ins put inside a little gift card holder inside of the actual greeting card itself, the one with the fabric on it. And I was just going to give a real quick little tutorial on how to make this little envelope that holds this gift card size. And the card itself also is a little bit oversized because it's so thick. It's a four and a quarter by five and a half, but because it's so thick, it won't fit into a regular envelope. So we made a custom made envelope for it also, and I'll show you how we did that. But to make the little gift card insert inside, you need to have a five by five piece of designer paper. Just pick out something pretty that'll match with the card that you're making. Put it on your scoring tool, and if you have the Stamping Up storing, scoring tool, it makes it very easy because you have the one eighth inch marks. And you're just going to score down two sides at the 5 8 inch mark. And when you're using um, the scoring tool in designer series paper, you need to use the big nib part of the tool or you'll puncture through the paper. So you can turn it around and do 5 8 if you don't know how to count backwards to get 5 8 So you've got 5 8 on two sides. And then you're going to turn it and you're going to score it at 1 and a half and 3 and 3 quarters. And that will give you uh, a one and a quarter inch flap and a one and a half inch flap. You can see on here my little indentions where I scored. I'm going to take my paper snips and on the five eighths inch side, which were these two sides here, I'm just going to cut down on the score line. And I just go ahead and cut a little bit at an angle like that to start with instead of having to go back and cut another little piece out. And then on this side, you're just going to cut right in the ditch, the left side of the ditch, and cut away these corners. Then on the 5 8 inch side, if you'll just cut at a little bit of an angle like that, it'll make your little envelope look more professionally made because you won't have any overlapping pieces. Now, if you want your corners rounded, you can use your corner rounder. If you don't have a corner rounder, you can just round it off with your scissors, just a little bit like that. It uh, doesn't take much. If you use the corner rounder, you'll have to fold down these little 5 8 inch flaps to make it fit in the corner rounder. Okay, so your inch should end up with something that looks like this. These are your 5 8 inch sides, and this is your top and bottom. And all we're going to do you just fold those in and crease it. You can use your bone folder if you want it really crisp. And then fold this up. And I also, like right there, there's a little teeny tick of paper hanging out. I don't like that, so I'm going to clip those off. It's just where I didn't come up and cut smooth to the edge. And for this card holder, we're going to put the little flap as the bottom instead of the bigger flap because that way you'll have a nicer space to write on here happy birthday or or whatever you want to stamp across the top of your paper if it's light colored like this you could stamp or put another uh, like label on there that says happy birthday or grad congratulations or whatever and you're going to put your uh, snail tape on this part the one and a quarter inch flap part and just fold it up press it down and put a little uh, sticky strip on the back or some score pal tape and it's ready to stick inside your card. So that's how it works, and that's how it looks. Okay? Now, our big envelope that we had to make, this was a five inch square, by the way. If I, I think I said that already, but anyway. And our big envelope that we made um, to hold the card, I just used some a little bit thicker than like uh, inkjet paper. I used resume paper, which has a nice texture to it. It comes in white, off-white, and buff. Uh, you can buy it at the office supply. But we're going to take this now. We're going to score it once again using the larger tip nib, and once again five eighths of an inch from the edge on one, the long side, the length side like this. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. All the way down the 11 inch side. And this piece of paper is seven and a half by 11. Then turn it 90 degrees and we're going to score it 
at two inches. This will be our flap. And it's seven inches. This piece will be part of the body. We're going to do it the same way we did the little envelope. I'm just going to use my bigger scissors because I long, got a longer place to cut. I'm going to cut up the side right in the just to the left of the ditch. And on this side, just to the right of the ditch. And I'm going to do the sides the same way I did the little envelope. And I'll cut it at an angle like this. And a little shortcut for cutting it at an angle if you want to is to fold this flap out, the flaps over like that and just cut here and here. Just cut the tips off like that and you end up with the same kind of thing. It's at an angle, these pieces are cut. Sometimes it's easier just to cut like that because then you get a nice little finished corner here. And if you want to use your corner rounder, once again, you can just round that off with the scissors if you don't own a corner rounder. I suggest you have one though. It's a necessity. Stampin' Up! does sell a corner rounder. 3 sixteenths inch corner rounder. Fold this on the score lines. Fold in your sides. And you never want to put your tape on this part this folded over the 5 8 inch part because it goes up a little higher than what this flap is. You'll end up with tape up here and uh, you won't be able, once you close your envelope, it's closed, you won't be able to put anything in it. So you want to put your tape down the flap side, right close to the edge, and then just fold the flap up and down. And you have a nice custom sized envelope for this card. It's almost the same size as just a regular A2 envelope, but it's just a little teeny bit bigger so that it holds the thickness of this card, because this card is very thick. So you need something that will allow for that. And there's our custom made envelope. Of course you would never mail this card anyway, but uh, you might want to put it in an envelope before you give it to someone. So that's our quick tutorial. The large envelope is 7.5 by 11, scored at 5 8 on two sides. The other two sides are scored at 2 inches and 7 inches. The little envelope is a 5 inch square scored on two sides at 5 eighths of an inch. The other turned right 90 degree angle. The other two sides are scored at 1 and a half and 3 and 3 quarters. Thank you. I hope you enjoy.